MTD CNC have travelled to Deal today, which is a town 10 miles north of Dover in the southeast of England. We're here at Advanced Metal Components. This company's recently purchased two new Belia turning centres from White House Machine Tools. These aren't two normal turning centres, these are machines that have two Y axis, they have two turrets, and they have twin spindle as well. Geo's inside with Chris, he's going to find out more about what these machines have done for the company. Chris, tell me a little bit about your company, AMC. Um, what could I say? It was founded in 84 by my mum and dad. Um, I've been with the company about eight years now. Um, we had been doing subcontracting work um, for three or four companies, um, generation, uh, power generation, um, locks, which we're going to be discussing later, obviously. Um, and just odds, odds for other smaller companies around the UK and some in Europe. Chris, you've been fortunate enough to invest in not one, but two brand new big layers, twin spindle, twin turret, double Y axis machines, the B465s. Now, you've seen significant cycle time reductions in making these components. Can you tell me how you used to make these components, the times it used to take you, and, and how, how much time it's actually saved you? Yeah, certainly. Uh, we used to do them on a, a sub-spindle uh, single turret machine. Um, we're now doing it, as you say, on the twin turret. Um, before, depending on which component it was, we were looking at cycle times around 17, maybe as low as 13, 12, 13 minutes. Um, we're now down to uh, roughly six minutes on the uh, larger components and down to about four and a half on the slightly smaller ones. That's a huge saving. Now, how is this saving, you know, how's that been achieved really? What features are you using to, to, to get that saving? Um, again, mainly with the, the, with the twin turret now, we've got uh, the free machining time on the second end, um, which is saving us huge amounts of time. Um, as well as saving us from doing second hopping upstairs uh, manually, uh, which can introduce inaccuracies in the product. So we're getting a, a better spec product off now uh, in a lot quicker time. What about the, the Y-axis? Uh, how has that improved the process and also um, the balance turning? Uh, the Y-axis has allowed us to do uh, working overnight, really. We've got sister tooling up there now, so we can offshoot uh, two tools on the Y-axis. Um, so we've got two roughing tools up there. Uh, we've got two parting tools up, which allow us to run through the night. Uh, so we're running now um, probably 23, 20 out of 24 hours. Blimey, I mean, this, this machine I haven't mentioned yet is fully automated. Now, um, also the transfer time between the main and the second spindle, how has this reduced the cycle time from offsetting the, the B axis? Oh, well, yeah, bringing the B axis forward and shrinking the um, working envelope of the machine, it, it just saves on, on, on the transfer at all. So we're, we're virtually cutting material at all times now. Um, there's no rapid movements at all. We're, we're moving the tools in ready to go before the other, other tools finished. And this has been your first investment in such complex uh, multitasking machines. How have how's the transition been from your single turret machine to this, this complex multitasking machine? Uh, it's been a learning curve for me, especially because this is my first time on on the on the lathes. Um, but with White House support, which is fantastic, um, we've it's, it's been an easy transition for us. There's, like I say, there's a learning curve to it, but it's been it's been done very well. So they they project managed the old the old process. Yeah, we had well, they they done a the t turnkey service for us virtually, um, and then I've had probably three separate. Um, training a couple of days here, a couple of days there, slowly integrating me into the whole system. And can we just touch on the speed, the rigidity and the torque of the machine? How are you finding this and the accuracy? Uh, accuracy is fantastic. Um, in terms of the rigidity and power, it's allowing us to run all of our tooling at where it should be. Um, with regards to some of the machines that we had before, uh, obviously you couldn't run the milling um, up at its full potential. Uh, without risking damaging the tool in all the machine, whereas with this one we're, we're, we're quite happy to let everything run where it should be. The swarf evacuation, evacuation you can obviously see that, that that's perfect. 
comes with the Swarf management system. It's all powered from the FANUC control. How are you finding the FANUC control system? Uh, FANUC is our preferred uh, system, to be honest. Most of our machines are FANUC. FANUC is, I find it very easy to navigate. Uh, and again, with White House's support, they've shown me where all the, all, all the little bits are hidden. So um, with regards to uh, tool load management and, and uh, monitoring, everything's going very well. Parts ejector is fantastic. Before we were dropping it onto a conveyor, which was then ejecting the parts into a box. Uh, what that then causes, if you do run any any length of time, you end up damaging parts because they're dropping on top of each other. Uh, this one has a, a designated parts catcher, um, which we eject out the side onto a small conveyor and then onto uh, our new rotor racks uh, to protect the parts and, and again allow us to run through the night. Um, also. Obviously, we've got driven tooling on all the stations, uh, which again, it gives us great flexibility when we're, we're looking at other products and future projects as well. So you can effectively mill, well, you can put live tooling on 24 stations? Yeah, we could. If we, if we needed to, we've got 24 live toolings there. If you were to look to buy another machine, would you recommend and would you purchase another one? Uh, yes, I would. I would definitely recommend the Beelia and I would definitely be looking on and to purchase one again in the future. Thank you, Chris. Thank you.